Hazel van der Vest Hazen is joining me in studio. Now she is third place proud after rocking the Mr. and Mrs. Fitness Championships in Cape Town and she also won best costume. Hello! Hello. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you so much. It was the, the craziest um, thing I've ever done. The first time in a bodybuilding competition. First time and I, I'm, I must say I'm blessed because I spend a lot of time on the beach. So the, the quality and the, what they were looking for, the judging criteria is, is a beach body. So luckily right. not a, a bodybuilding body because that yeah. goes into the next level. So they're different categories. So I just entered bikini, um, but it was nerve wracking to be on stage in a bikini in front of hundreds of people that's, and to be judged. That's exactly what I thought when I was looking at your pictures. I was like, wow, I mean, you look amazing, but how brave of you to go on stage in front of all of these people in your bikini. Now, why did you decide to do this? Um, you know, I, I'm always up for a challenge. If it's mm. not uh, an Ironman or a doozy canoe marathon or training for an epic, um, then I'm up for anything. And yeah. uh, when someone says, do something, like, what do you think of it? I always give it like a few minutes thoughts and, and think about it and go, okay, I'm doing it. Um, in a couple of my weeks back, four weeks back, mm -hmm. my trainer said to me, you know, I'm, I know you're getting ready for doing the Epic and your biking is looking mm -hmm. really good. Why don't you think about doing this? It's in a couple of weeks. You're only going to have to be off the bike for two weeks. You're going to have to drive around Cape Town and no more biking. Mm -hmm. It was my hardest part. And I said, show me some videos. Show me what it's about. Um, and I said, is this something I could do? Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the tomboy. I love my, my baggy shorts and mm. my cycling kits. And now I'm going to rock on stage in a pair of killer heels. In like a pageant. In a pageant. Yeah. And learn to walk and do the whole, you know, the wave. Mm. And I've watched it before and I've always wondered why it's all pageantry. But it's stuff you get judged on. Mm. And um, I thought, you know what? Let me just go and have fun with it and go and experience it and see what it's like. And it's just a different challenge. And then I didn't realize you had to have a bikini made. Then it, there was a theme wear section as well. And you had to learn routines, how to walk a minute on stage for each routine. Really? Um, so that was my life-saving thing because stage is good. I, can, I had that. Yeah. But everything else, getting bikini ready, bikini body ready, okay. was a challenge. Tell me about this custom-made bikini you had. There was this, uh, this is woman that makes all the pageant bikinis. Mm -hmm. I call it a pageant even though it's a fitness contest. Mm. And, and there's various contests. There's IFBB, International Federation of Bodybuilding. She makes for all the, and then there's yeah. Mr. and Miss Fitness, Olympia, and a whole variety of others. And she knows exactly. And I arrived the day and it really wasn't... I wasn't, you know, you, you, as a woman, you feel insecure about your body. Yeah. And I know she'd been seeing a lot of uh, like really well ripped women. Yeah. And she said to me, Liesl, what do you want? I said, I want a pink bikini. And she went, okay, anything else? I went, I don't know anything about this, how it works or anything. Yeah. And she went, I saw this bikini overseas. I've been dying to make it locally. Can I make this for you in the style? Mm. And I went, you know what? Perfect. And my trainer, Aubrey Preston, came with me and he put the little diamante on the back mm. and... Yeah, and that's how the, the pink bikini got made. Yeah. And then for the best theme, uh, I'm an ambassador for Cape Town Carnival. Mm -hmm. And the theme for Cape Town Carnival next year is Elemental. And air is one of the themes. Okay, cool. So air was created as a theme for me to wear on stage mm. with the little silver bikini and the little skirt that comes off, the balloon skirts that oh, come off. How exciting. So I just had fun with the two themes and... and yeah, I just was myself on stage, completely different to, to everyone else and, and just made it my own. Now tell me about the training and dieting leading up to that. <laughs> it, I imagine that it will be ridiculous. The, the training was, it, it was hectic and um, I tried to balance everything because I was traveling a lot mm -hmm. um, around the country. So my trainer had custom made a half an hour morning training and a half an hour evening. Mm -hmm. So I could just do it in the hotel or, yeah. or in the gym at the VNA when I had a chance. Mm -hmm. And the diet, it wasn't really a diet, it was an eating plan. So I had seven meals a day, proper meals. So oh my gosh. I didn't skimp on anything. Mm -hmm. I was actually full by the time I got to the fifth or the sixth meal. Mm -hmm. um, but I had to cut out chocolate. Oh, which was no. my weakness and <laughs> that was the hardest so for four weeks no chocolate uh no you only had a certain amount of carbs a day you had the right mm -hmm. amount of protein so everything had to be weighed measured and checked and now i'm still sticking to it now my body clock's going okay it's two and a half hours later you need to eat it's wow. two and a half hours but it was it was uh, it was basically it was boiled or, or steamed fish steamed chicken veggies mm -hmm. a salad pineapple Nuts, biltong, oh, that doesn't popcorn. sound so bad. It wasn't so bad. Yeah. But it was just remembering to eat. And, and that was the main thing. You had to keep eating every two and a half hours and drinking two to three liters of water a day. Oh my gosh. So, so that was the hardest. And you couldn't, if I was craving 
just something sweet to drink, mm -hmm. couldn't have anything. Couldn't go for dinners with friends because I knew I had to stick to, yeah. to that. So that was the hardest. And Jeez. all my family were in town the week leading oh, up to no. it. Oh no! And I couldn't go out <laughs> anywhere with them. All I had to do was take my meals with me everywhere I went. Oh my gosh, I can imagine yeah. you with your little carry <laughs> lunch. <laughs> Now, what was the most challenging part of this whole thing for you? The hardest part, um, believe it or not, was learning to walk the mm. way they want you to walk how, on stage. How is where that? You, you want to show you've got the nice toned shoulders. You want to show that you hip, your, the way you stand on stage as well, and this is the secret and they don't tell you this, the way you stand on stage to make yourself look a little bit more slimmer because mm. you get judged on every body part. Right. You get judged on what your hair looks like, your nails, oh your gosh. skin, your skin tone, your costume. So everything is judged, plus your walking, plus the theme costume counts thirty mm. percent. Seven hours in in the five from four weeks of walking lessons with a walking and posing coach and learning to pose and do the the proper oh my gosh. quarter turns and and how to hold yourself on stage. So that was the hardest for me. And what did it feel like to be up there with all of these professionals who had been gorgeous. in competition? I know they're so beautiful. I know. And I arrived and I was hiding under a cap. I didn't enter under my full name. I didn't tell people who I was. No one recognized me under three layers of the darkest tan. I can just imagine you like mm -hmm. yeah, cap, cycling <laughs> kit, and uh, the girls are amazing on stage. They've they've done it before and they know exactly what to do on stage, they know how to hold themselves, mm. they know how to pose. And what I said to the, the, the coach and the trainer that was working with me, I said, you know what, M my personality needs to shine through. I can't go on there and be someone I'm not. Yeah. So the routine we worked on was very, very quirky, girly, mm. be, uh, I call it Marilyn Monroe, with little cute poses, <laughs> and different. It was just mm. something different. So it was amazing to meet these women who all enter for different reasons. They enter. Yeah. One woman just had a baby and she wanted to get her figure back. So that was her reason. Another woman had gone through a divorce and she needed something for herself yeah. and something to help her grow. So everyone had these stories and these journeys that they'd been through. For me, sitting back there, listening to that, that was special to mm -hmm. see why they're there. They're not there to, we're not, we were all there as a, as a team on stage to do our best. No one really compared themselves to each other. Everyone was so focused on their own mm -hmm. thing getting on stage and, and being the best they could be. You don't really think about it like that when you're watching. You think it's just this competition and there's not really a backstory. People just want to... Want to win and, exactly. and they want to do it. And they're not. They, mm -hmm. they all talk about how their lives have changed, how people see them differently. And for mm -hmm. me, I spend most of my time backstage listening to everyone's story. The guys had different stories. The mm -hmm. girls' stories were different. And the reasons were different. Another guy backstage was a, 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 a drug addict. And yeah. he cleaned himself up, and this is what he's, he's done to clean himself up. There was also a guy from a charity in Port Elizabeth where he brought kids, he, foster kids that have been abandoned or mm. abused, taken them out of their environments and, and groomed them to do bodybuilding or fitness. Wow. And they get homework and schooling yeah. and everything. So it's, it's a sport with, with a reason and a cause. Mm -hmm. and, and there's the good elements as well. They, they raise funds for various... Um, bodybuilding or fitness athletes who've, who've, yeah. who've injured themselves or who can't take part. So there's more to it than just a, a Mr. and Miss Fitness. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a story. And if you listen to those stories and you hear the reasons, it actually makes you proud to be part of a reason that people are changing yeah. who they are.